This is a question from the gate exam year 2009. The number of swaps required to sort n elements using selection sort is in the worst case theta of n, theta of n log n, theta of n square or theta of n square log n. You need to pick the right choice among these four. You can pause the video at this stage if you want to attempt this problem yourself. Now we have already discussed in previous videos that selection sort is an iterative algorithm. It runs as a sequence of iterations. In the first iteration, you scan the array from left to right, find out which is the minimum element, and swap that element with a of 1, whatever is present in the first location of the array before. So let's say the minimum element is somewhere here. You'll swap it with a of 1 so that at the end of the first iteration the first element of the array is going to be the smallest element overall. So in the first iteration you do exactly one swap operation. In the second iteration you focus on the remaining n minus 1 elements of the array and again you determine which is the minimum element in these n minus 1 and then you swap that minimum element with the second element of the array so that at the end of the second iteration a of 2 is going to be the second smallest element overall. Then in the third iteration, you focus on the remaining n minus 2 elements. Again, pick the minimum element and swap it with a of 3. So in every iteration, you are finding out the minimum element from the unsorted part of the array. And then you are swapping it with the first element of the unsorted part, with the leftmost element of the unsorted part. Now in every iteration, you do exactly one swap operation. And we have seen in the explanation of selection sort that there are n minus 1 iterations in total. And so uh, the number of swaps required to sort l and n elements is going to be n minus 1. It's going to be equal to the number of iterations. And of course, n minus 1 is theta of n. So the correct answer to this question is theta of n.